Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that this world is not what you think it is. See, if we think about it from conception, from the moment our souls are placed into these vessels, we're conditioned. No matter what environment, no matter internally or externally, we're conditioned. So if we know that we're conditioned, meaning we're given or provided perspectives and examples of perspectives that place us in a certain frame of thought. We know that as a fact. It's part of the part of the whole experience. So if we know that as we evolve along our journey, we can find different perspectives. We can find different ways of approaching this thing we call life. And in doing so, you allow yourself to let in newer perspectives and release the old. Prime example would be your work life versus your family life versus your social life versus your spiritual life. They're all going along this journey, but it's seeing your journey in different views, different perspectives, different angles. So whereas we may hold on to ideas that we learn from our family, that might not serve us in our work life. Spiritually, it might hinder us but it might help us in our social life. And that can be seen in any different perspective. It doesn't matter. So some of the things that we do for ourselves spiritually to enrich us along our way, it might be must be labeled or seen in a, a seemingly negative light when it comes to other areas of life. And that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm not here to judge or criticize. I care less. Because just as I have my journey, you have yours. The goal is to remind myself and each one of us that we have options. We can always change the way we see things. A prime example for myself would be learning more about the financial world. That's whether you look at it from a conspiracy theorist lens, where you look at it from, hey, these are numbers. This is all that's about is numbers whether it be about the perception of being financially well off or not. So there's many different ways that you could look at the financial world. There's many different relationships you could build with these ideas. The same as fiat currency or stray cash or financial instruments. It's all about the perspective you choose to take. Now I'm sharing this because I've been forced to face a realization within myself of understanding that I gave many things outside of me value. When truthfully, the only thing that gives those things values is myself, my perception. That's it. It's the same for any and everybody. Whatever we deem to be uh, worthy is worthy in our eyes. That's everybody's choice. That's absolutely fine. It's not about my choice is better than yours or vice versa. Nah. What you choose for you is none of my business. It's what you choose for you, just as what I choose for me. But the beautiful thing for me was being able to confront certain perspectives that I had and being curious. Venturing off into the unknown. Daring to do something a little bit differently. And for me, it's well worth it. That might not be your thing. You might explore your curiosity in other areas of your life. As long as you're exploring, I think it's beautiful. It's when we stop exploring that I believe we become hardened and hardened and hardened in our ways. We don't want to change. And when we don't want to change, the world doesn't change. It can't because the way we see it doesn't change. I've been in that place multiple times. I didn't like it. <laughs> Just to be honest, I, yeah, I didn't like it. Now, when I was in it, I didn't realize I didn't like it. I was just in a dark place. And that's not to say it won't happen again. I mean, it's all part of this mission, right? So even as I go about my way, go about my journey and I learn these new things. 
I allow myself to form different perspectives. And in doing so, and shining that light in different areas of my life, it allowed me to appreciate more of the value that I have within myself. I share this because I hope the same for you. I hope whatever area in your journey that you're venturing off to and through, I hope it's providing you an extra sense of value for who you truly are, for the choices that you do and don't make, for the outcome that you have or don't have. Be at peace with it. But know the certain kind of peace that you receive when you know that who you are, where you are, what you are. It's all about what you chose. When you can find peace in that, the journey takes a different kind of meaning for you. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Until next time, y'all, don't forget to smile.